Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to a Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, however you pronounce it, movie called The Secret World of Arietti. Gosh, this was a brilliant film. I really enjoyed this film. This is just a Christmas special reaction, um, so I'm still on my break, actually. Um, but I just wanted to make this reaction, Christmas special reaction, just as a treat to you guys because I know that it's been a long time since I've uploaded an anime reaction and I apologize but I've just got a lot of things to do so um what happened in this movie like if you haven't seen this movie then just watch along with me it was a really good film um it's actually based on a book called The Borrowers by Mary Norton and what The Borrowers is about is just this concept that um if I had to like briefly um, describe what the film is about in the book is that these tiny humans trying to survive um, and by borrowing stuff from the big humans and then there's this conflict between the big humans <coughs> and the little people and the little people are called the borrowers and um, they just like take stuff from humans households and because they need to survive they need to borrow to survive and the humans they find out uh, and these, there's this girl called Arietti she's from the borrow family so she is a little person and she meets up with this human bef befriends him uh, I ship it <laughs> in this film at least I don't know if it's the exact same in the um in the book but um she meets up with this human boy basically who helps her um, get stuff even though the conflict is that his aunt actually called pest control services to um to not kill them but to trap them like as if they're just a bunch of animals like a bunch of insects trying to steal their food because obviously like um the borrowers are like taking their stuff and um his aunt was just like such a shady bitch on my days just like trying so hard to like she, well, she basically trapped Arietti's mom in a jar like some sort of insect and I was just I was kind of disgusted like because the whole um analogy metaphor is that the little people are basically like animals they're little insects um trying to survive in the world like just look at their house the borrower's house is very jungle like it's very forest like i actually really like that look i really like how their house looks like um the, their first house i don't mean the doll house um and it just looks so cool <clears throat> the stuff that they borrowed and Arietti she had her first borrowing and she actually borrowed a needle that she uses as a weapon as well as just a useful tool to have for that looked really cool just looked like a rapier for her because they're that small they're like needle sized they're finger size the size of my finger <laughs> that's how small they looked um it was just so cute and like show he was such a nice guy such a nice boy trying to help Arietti and the borrower family um survive basically like he gave a sugar cube because that's what um Arietti's mission was at first in the beginning of the film she had to get a sugar cube so that they can eat something um but she, her first mission was unsuccessful because she got really scared of um the big humans um because um because the big humans are dangerous that's the kind of belief system that she's been instilled by her father and mother they're like really like concerned you know like you've got to make sure that you're always hidden from the humans because they will either try to kill you or hurt you or do bad stuff to you so you've got to be careful whenever you borrow you cannot be seen and so Arietti was scared but then <clears throat> Sho told her that actually you don't have to be scared of me I'm not gonna hurt you um I'll give you your sugar cube and he actually gave it um now Arietti refused to like you know like interact with him any further 
and just told him like just leave us alone please um but they eventually did befriend they they eventually did become friends to one another um show it's just awesome friend um and Spiller's a nice character too. He helped um, the family escape again. It was kind of sad actually to <clears throat> see Arietti's family actually leaving. I was hoping that she'd still stay, but just like, I don't know, just because they had a really nice house. You know, the dollhouse, it looked so beautiful with that dollhouse. That would have been the perfect home, but they had to leave anyway because of Sho's aunt. Sho's aunt being such a shady bitch that she wants to make sure it was basically for their safety, for the little people's safety. Um, so that's why they had to leave. Otherwise Sho's aunt is just going to always try to track them down. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it was a really good film. Um, so uh, if you haven't watched it, you, m you can watch my reaction to it. Um, it was a good film, and uh, sorry about the constant interruptions throughout the video. Um, I have a lot of guests that come to my house, like, almost every day, but anyway, um, what did you think of this film? And I will be reacting to more Studio Ghibli films in the future. I'm not going to react to every single Studio Ghibli and anime movie that's out there. <clears throat> I will just pick ones that particularly intrigue me, pique my interest, um, so ones that I am interested in, um, based on like initial description or concept, um, but anyway, uh, stay tuned for more.